Welcome back, everybody, to 10 Minute I.O., where you'll find bite sized information on all topics related to industrial organizational psychology. My name is Stephen Jong, and I'm an I.O. psychologist. Today, we'll be talking about levels of measurement. Before we get started, let's start out with a quick quiz. If you think about the Olympics, winners are awarded one of three medals, gold, silver, and bronze. Can you guess what level of measurement the system reflects? We have four options here. I know uh, if this is your first time, you probably have no idea, but take a wild guess. I'll go over the answer towards the end of this video segment. Four levels of measurement. Here are the four levels, starting with the, the least sophisticated, nominal, goes up to ordinal, interval, and ratio, which is the most uh, sophisticated. You might be asking, what's the point of this? Why do we have to learn this? Because data come in different forms or types. Think about this. Dollar plus dollar equals two dollars. We know that. But can we take countries and say that Bolivia plus Ecuador equals Colombia? Not really, unless we're talking about geographic regions or GDP or something like that. What about colors? Can we say that blue is greater than brown? We cannot. You may prefer blue over brown, but we really can't say that blue in terms of uh, when we talk about quantitatively that blue is greater than brown. Same thing with Ford truck versus Tesla. We add those together. Do we get a Porsche? No, that's a ridiculous assertion, uh, but I think you get the point here. So four levels of measurement tells us whether mathematical operations can be applied to the data and if so, what kind? Uh, again, we have the four levels of measurement here, and an easy way to memorize this is through this acronym, NOIR, which means black in French. Again, nominal is the least sophisticated, ratio is the most sophisticated. Let's go through each one of these one by one. Nominal is refers to categories, names, labels, and qualities, and so on. We cannot arrange them in order from high to low, meaning that we can't say one is better than uh, the other, uh, which, means, which also means that we can't perform mathematical operations. Think about gender. We can't say that men are better than women or women are better than men. Some might, but objectively, we really can't. The type of car you drive also and colors of crayons. Uh, we really can't do any kind of mathematical operations. We can't say that green plus yellow equals red uh, and so on. Now next level of measurement we can order from high to low. We can order the da data from low to high or high to, high to low uh, and say that one data entry is greater than another. If you think about TV ratings we can say that Big Bang Theory is getting more audience views uh, or more popular than 60 minutes, 60 minutes more popular than the voice and so on. Level of education, same thing. We can say that masters requires greater level or more years of education than bachelors, uh, more than some college and high school and so on. Course grades are the same thing. A, B plus, B, B and C plus. Here with ordinal level of measurement, uh, one uh, weakness is that we cannot say that the distance between the data points are equal. So we cannot say that the difference between bachelor's and a master's degrees is equal to master's and a doctorate level. We can say, although so, although we can order them from high to low, we cannot say that the distance uh, is equal or roughly equal. With interval level of measurement, we can say that. We can not only order the data, but we can also say roughly that the distance between one data point and the other uh, can be treated as equal. Liquor types rating scale you've seen before, uh, strongly disagree to strongly agree. If you think about the, the distance between, psychological distance between strongly disagree and disagree, research shows that they are uh, the distance is roughly equal to uh, the other distances that you see there, disagree to neutral, neutral to agree, agree to strongly agree. Same thing with year of birth. Now if we get down to the specific dates, we can't say that, but roughly year of birth would be treated as interval level of scale. Same thing with temperature. Uh, here with interval level of measurement, we cannot do any kind of multiple, we cannot infer any kind of multiples of one number 
So meaning here, if you take temperature as an example, if it's 60 degrees outside, we can't say that it's um, twice as hot as 30 degrees. Or when it's 40 degrees outside, we can't say that it's twice as hot as 20 degrees. Here with ratio level of measurement, we can say those things. Uh, that's because there's an inherent zero or absolute zero. We can order the data. Uh, we can assume that the difference between, uh, we know that the, diff, uh, the gap or the distance between the data points are equal. Um, and we can also calculate multiples of one data over another. So height is a perfect example where we have zero, absolute zero. And we can say that a person who is two feet tall uh, is half as tall as someone who is four feet tall. Same thing with weight and prices of things. We can say there's zero cost, $50, $100 for whatever it is. We can say that $100 is twice as expensive as a $50 item uh, book in this case. Here's a quick summary. I won't read through this. You can pause the video if you'd like. Um, and let's get on to the quiz here. We know that in the Olympics, winners awarded one of three medals, gold, silver, and bronze. The question was, what level of measurement does this system reflect? If you guessed ordinal, give yourself a pat on the back. This is because although we know that a first place finisher was better than second or third, we cannot say anything about how much better or faster uh, the gold medalist or gold medal winner was over the silver or bronze medalist. Well, that about does it for levels of measurement. Uh, I know it's a bit dry, but it is important to understand the different levels of measurement or different types of data that you'll be working with. Whether you're working with human capital metrics, organizational surveys, or measuring concepts, it's important to understand the type of or the level of measurement for the type of data that you're gathering so that you can appropriately apply the, the, co uh, the mathematical operations that you need to. Uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, look for another video coming soon.